good afternoon welcome to dot programming dot com this is my blog uh, today I'm talking about how to install Ajax toolkit for Visual Studio 2012 13 and 15 so please search uh, in the Google Dev Express oops uh, connection mistake Dev Express Ajax toolkit version 15.1 this toolkit is a newly created by the Dev Express Dev Express Ajax control toolkit version 15.1 uh, this uh, actually uh, the previously uh, released a toolkit is not working with the Visual Studio 2012, 13 and 15 this is the newly created Ajax control toolkit this is working well after installation you will get a exe file of the control toolkit uh, what is yeah that is the ajax control toolkit that is icon of the ajax control toolkit after download uh, you have seen in downloads folder so double click on it and install uh, I have already installed this Ajax control kit in the system I remember that your Visual Studio closed during the installations when you after successfully installation when you open the Visual Studio 2013 or 15 letter you will see the toolkit already available in the toolbox so ok now uh, add a new website ESP.NET form websites see all the queries adding into the project adding jquery 1.10.2 to the project in the below bar uh, that is the blue bar describe define your project folder adding microsoft.asp.net script manager uh, these are all these all are the dll files adding entity framework 6.1.1 to to the project yeah yeah successfully added ajax control toolkit into the uh, toolbox so now i have a master page ok now add a new web form to check the ajax control toolkit class code in separate file it's not linked with the master page actually so first of all add a tool script manager control uh, button it's not appear actually show smart tag with the button control because no uh, no register directive actually add in this uh, web page so first of all add tool script manager from the toolbox remember again tool script manager it's not a script manager actually toolkit script manager is a newly created script manager with this toolbox uh, with this toolkit okay that is uh, add register directive automatically after add tool script manager now add button control yeah show smart tag is appeared with the button control now pick confirmation box add 
add the text of the confirmation to check that uh, Ajax control cool toolkit is working with the Visual Studio 2013-15. Are you sure? Yeah, it's work fine. I uh, have Windows 8.1 operating system and this is Studio 2013. So it's work fine. So now add editor control. Also it work fine. Yeah that is. Now add a master page in the solution. If you want to add a script manager, then you can add only single class in the master page. That is after form tag. That is tool script manager work with all the sub pages, all the sub forms which is linked with the master page that is web form now you can add editor here yeah it's work fine yeah Actually, uh, lots of systems, ma uh, many systems, it not work. Uh, it's not work properly with the mm, master page. JS file error got something. If you are get some error related to JS dot JS dot JS file, please add this tag inside the web.config file that tag app settings add key equals to validation settings inside the web.config file check it's working f fine or not with the master page that is site master it's already add a script manager add a new script manager it's not working with the master page because it's already add a script manager in the page Yeah, only one instance of the script manager can be added to this page. So, remove tool script manager from the page of the master page. Uh, that is already is added in the manager. So, uh, remove this tool script manager. And now again run this page. Yeah, working fine. That is your editor. Now, if you want, uh, if you got some error related to JS file, please add app settings. 
that is inside the configuration section add this copy and paste it validation settings and off settings mod none value is equals to none so please add this inside the web.config file so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial thank you